Thank you for tuning in to This Week in Poker. $1,000 buy-in mega satellites are running at the Gold Strike in Tunica, Mississippi, and they have been running since yesterday. These satellites offer players a chance to get into the $10,000 buy-in World Poker Open for a tenth of the buy-in. The main event begins on Sunday the 20th at the Gold Strike Casino. Card Player TV will be there along with the tournament reporting team. Be sure to check out the Tournament Trail channel on Card Player TV. We'll be on location in Mississippi with full tournament coverage all next week. Last year, 294 players participated in the tournament, and that created a first place prize that was just under $1 million. Tournament novice Brian Sumner beat Daniel Ogranu heads up to claim that prize. That was Sumner's only major tournament cash ever. So far, the preliminary events at the Gold Strike have been going very well, and if there are any indication, the main event should draw a healthy field. In that same neck of the woods, the championship tournament of the World Series of Poker Circuit Stop at the Grand Casino begins tomorrow at noon local time. The event has a bigger buy-in than last year's $5,000 entry fee. If you want to play, it will cost you $7,500. The tournament will last three days, and the winner will be crowned on Monday the 21st. Last year, there were 377 entrants, and Dennis Perry won the first place prize of over $563,000. A little further up the East Coast, the Regatta Winter Open is officially underway and the first event attracted a huge field. The tournament had a $300 buy-in, but the total prize pool was almost half a million dollars. 1,649 players showed up for the first event of the Regatta Winter Open. The champion was Jason Peckhold. The Borgata's $10,000 buy-in main event begins next Sunday, January 27th. The winner of that World Poker Tour title will also claim a custom-built Harley-Davidson Street Glide motorcycle. Last year, the tournament was won by a top professional, Johnny World Hennigan. Check out an interview with the elusive Hennigan by searching his name on the Card Player TV page. Last week, the PokerStars Caribbean adventure concluded in the Bahamas, and the winner was Bertrand Elke Graspier. The Team PokerStars member is ecstatic about his $2 million win, and we have him on the phone right now to talk about it. Bertrand, thank you very much for talking to us today. Congratulations on your win at the PCA. Yeah, thank you very much. So tell me, was there a point in the tournament where you really felt like you were going to win? You knew you were going to take it down? Well, actually, I, uh, when I won the Ace King Suit against Jax at the beginning of the final table, mm -hmm. and I busted the Ace player, I almost got the chip lead with that hand, and I knew I had, uh, I got close to the 6 million chips, and I knew I had position on David Fam, so I was feeling really confident from that point on. It looked like you got a bit more aggressive as you made, as you got the chip lead. Is that true? Oh yeah, I got more aggressive, but I was really, I think I was very lucky to have position on David Sam because he was uh, the most aggressive player at the table. And I was directly on his left, so I could control his aggression pretty well uh, because one of the seven players, every time he was, uh, every time he was folding, I could just attack the other blinds. And I think David Sam was really the only player that was uh, really playing for winning. Maybe him and Joel Paya and other player, players, they were much more predictable and straightforward and they wouldn't take any inconsiderate risks, so it was much easier for me. So what was it like to win the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure as a member of Team Poker Stars? It was a really a great achievement for me and I'm really proud of doing it because the EPT PCA is like the hardest one of the season for sure because there are so many online qualifiers and so many players from PokerStars that I play with every day, so I think it's uh, one of the toughest fields in, in every year's tournament schedule. So I'm really, I'm really glad I won this one because it means a lot more for me as an online player. Absolutely. So what was it like to play against other online players in a live setting? Well, it's really exciting because we play with each other online all the time, but most of them so a lot of them are only 21 years old, so I can't compete with them in Vegas or anywhere else in the world. So it's really exciting to play against people you, you play with every day on PokerStars and you finally meet them in a live tournament. It was a, it's a really great experience. So what's the next tournament we can expect to see you playing in? I'm going to be playing in the EPT Dortmund. You're looking and for back-to-back um, -back EPT wins? <laughs> I really hope so, and I'm going to also be playing uh, as many in the season as I can. Like maybe the LA Poker Classic and the Bellagio Championship. Sounds like a busy spring ahead of you. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Bertrand. You're welcome. We've got one more tournament on the docket today. The Aussie Millions main event is on day four. 780 entrants started this tournament, but it's now down to 22 players. First place in this tournament is 1.65 million Australian dollars. Professionals who are still in contention include Max Pescatori and Eric Seidel. 
The chip leader is Antonio Casale. Actress turned poker player Shannon Elizabeth recently announced a sponsorship deal with the online poker site Mansion Poker. She made her debut as a Mansion representative at the Aussie Millions. Elizabeth joins Mark Goodwin, the first ambassador of Mansion Poker and a star in the United Kingdom, as a representative for the site. Charity poker tournaments seem to be growing in popularity and athletes are often involved. On the 30th of the month, the Hearts and Helmets charity tournament will take place in Phoenix, Arizona. The host of the event is Phoenix Suns forward Sean Marion. It costs $1,000 to attend and the money raised, which they anticipate will be over a million dollars, will be split up between several charities. And that sums up This Week in Poker. I'm Lizzie Harrison. And I'm Christiane Nett for Card Player TV.